SpaceX is waiting for one last thing before they can do the orbital flight test of the Starship Super Heavy rocket. And I want to go back a little bit to see how we got to this point. Now, SpaceX on um, their Twitter account on the 11th said teams are focused on launch readiness ahead of Starship's first integrated flight test as soon as next week, pending regulatory approval. Lo no launch rehearsal this week. So basically they said, hey, we're not going to do another static fire. We're not going to do any spin prime tests. We're not going to do anything else to this rocket other than prep it for the launch. Now let's move forward a little bit. No TAMs for uh, Mexican airspace. Valid from 17th April 2023 to 22 April 2023. Window of five days. So this is another clue that was saying, hey, we're going to launch this thing. And everyone is kind of skeptical. We didn't know if they were going to do another uh, spin prime test or if they're going to do another full cryo load of this thing, if they're going to stack and destack it, what else they had to do. And then at this point we were like, oh, this is, this is real. Like this is getting real. When SpaceX said that and this popped up and then this happened to SpaceX's website, Starship flight test upcoming right on the SpaceX homepage. And then you click the watch button upcoming Starship flight test. This used to say April 17th at one point, just for a second, it said April 17th. First integrated flight test of Starship is trending towards the third week of April, pending regulatory approval. We have one last thing, one last thing from the FAA, and this will be the first flight test of a fully integrated Starship and super heavy rocket, a fully reusable transportation system, et cetera, et cetera. We all know what the Starship is capable of doing, but this is kind of cool because they posted the countdown too. SpaceX flight director conducts poll and verifies go for propellant load two hours before an hour 39 booster locks the liquid oxygen load underway uh, booster fuel load at 139 around the same time, exactly the same time ship fuel load at 122 about 10, uh, 17 minutes later or so. Um, ship locks load underway at 117. Raptor begins engine chill on booster 1640. So these things happen in rapid succession and then Fluid interface begins their uh, vent down sequence. Raptor startup sequence begins six seconds. Is that six or is that an eight? That's an eight. Uh, and then <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Excitement guaranteed, which is one thing that Elon Musk has said on his Twitter account about the Starship integrated flight test. And they show you what's going to happen too. Um, super heavy engine start. They're going to launch it. They're going to go up with the ascent stage separation around here. And then the boost back burn comes back down into the Gulf of Mexico. And this is a cool thing. Uh, the water landing in the Gulf of Mexico, they're going to try to hover land the booster in the Gulf. And we were hoping for this. Uh, we were talking about it on the podcast a little bit ago, but we were hoping for some sort of hover land in the Gulf because they could test the systems that will test the landing systems on land at Boca Chica Beach or at Kennedy Space Center. And they have to prove these technologies before they can actually do this. Um, so they don't basically run into the uh, OLM and the catch arms and destroy the whole tower. They have to make sure that this is perfect before uh, they do those things. So after the flip maneuver, the Starship engine cut off because the Starship is ready to go to Kauai in the Pacific Ocean. It goes to a coast phase, Starship reentry. It does the belly flop, water landing, and it's a belly flop water landing. Could this possibly be? the highest belly flop of all time. It's possible. So and they, they break it down uh, per second, per minute here. So if you want to go to SpaceX.com after this and check out all of the information there. But this is a cool thing that I heard. So this is a, a sort of a, a sort of rumor that's going around, but I want to let you know about it because I think it's important to know what kind of coverage SpaceX is going to have and like how important it is for SpaceX to be uh, in tune with the locals there on um at Boca Chica, Brownsville, uh, South Padre Island. So South Padre Island, Cameron County Amphitheater. We've heard rumors that SpaceX is renting out Cameron County Amphitheater um, for about a week until this thing actually launches, right? So at the Cameron County in, uh, Amphitheater, I've been there a bunch of times. I filmed from there and you get beautiful views of the Gulf. You get beautiful views of the port and you get beautiful views of the orbital launch pad and Boca Chica Beach. So everything, you get a, it's flat here. So Del Mar Beach, this is all pretty flat. So anything from 
uh, Cameron County Amphitheater, all the way through here, you can see if you have a 600 millimeter, 800 millimeter lens, you can see Boca Chica Beach, you can see the orbital launch pad, you can see the launch facilities, you can see everything over there. So SpaceX has made those um, preparations to film the actual launch from here. So we're going to get some amazing, amazing angles from this thing, and it's going to be so cool. Um, so I had a couple more things that I want to talk about this upcoming launches as well. So this, this, uh, cements it right here, upcoming launch, April 17th, 2023 SpaceX on their own website, April 17th, 2023, it said upcoming before April 17th now. And then you go to the starship flight test page again, but then we have to look at this too. Always, 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 always look at the road closures because that's important. On Monday 17th, 2023, between midnight and 2 p.m., possible closure of the Highway 4 at the Starship Launch Facility, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. They don't have it planned for Thursday or Friday yet, uh, which I kind of find a little bit weird, but I would assume that Thursday and Friday will be on uh, the schedule once they figure all this stuff out. So funny thing is, the other day, there was, if you go down here, the uh, amended order, closing Boca Chica Beach before a couple days ago. I said non-flight activity. And this is from Cameron County, uh, which is the county that's uh, that SpaceX is based in down in Texas. And uh, Judge Andy Trevino uh, has ordered temporary closure of access to Boca Chica Beach and State Highway 4 due to anticipated test launch activities for SpaceX. So this is happening. This is happening on the 17th, possibly 18th, possibly 19th. So you have to take into consideration that something could scrub the launch on any one of those days. So the first day on the 17th, something could happen, you know, maybe the propellant didn't load properly or something didn't spin up right. And then they kind of go back and they fix it up and then they run out of time for that day. It gets dark or, you know, they just don't have the, um, don't have the anything ready for the next, uh, sequence. And then they have to hold on for another day. So they scrub for a day and then go back the next day anything can happen. Um, but also this was on SpaceX's YouTube page live in five days, April 17th at 1 15 PM. This is a screenshot somebody took and they posted in our discord and the starship flight test five days away, 1 15 PM. So they were expecting the launch to be at about I mean, they go live about 45 minutes before the flight. So there's a possibility that they plan to launch at about 2 o'clock p.m. on the 17th, on April 17th. So get ready for that, too. I'm excited about it. Um, if you're excited about Starship, just uh, take a second. Uh, give me a subscribe and a like because I do Starship content all the time. SpaceX, NASA, space flight. So if you could, you get this channel and you also get recommended by YouTube to other spaceflight channels that you may be interested in. Another interesting thing that happened, uh, Brownsville, the um, flight restrictions area, affected areas, Brownsville space operations area, type space operations from the FAA. This is not the FAA license for flight, though, by the way. So April 14th, it was issued 2023, Brownsville, Texas, April 17th, 2023, uh, ending date, April 20 or April 17, 2023. And this is the not Mar. So basically don't fly here. There's going to be a rocket going to space here. That's pretty much it. And the FAA has issued this. It's from the ground to space. So that's another indicator that this is really happening. Everybody, um, current operations. There's another one here from the FAA current operations, SpaceX starship, super heavy Boca Chica, Texas, it's going to be happening. It's going to be amazing. Now, here's an interesting one, though, that I didn't know about until like a couple minutes before I started filming this. Very cool, though, because Eric Berger thought that the FAA license was going to be handled on the 13th. Everything was going to be good. All, all was going to be taken care of. And SpaceX is going to launch this thing on the 17th. Eric Berger says about his other tweet, quite obviously this uh, did not happen. However, generally there remains confidence that a license is forthcoming uh, from SpaceX uh, when it's needed, i.e. before 7 a.m. CT on Monday morning. License could be issued anytime, any day, including weekends. So 
this whole weekend, we're going to be waiting and just hitting F5 and refreshing, and just waiting for this thing to happen. And then he goes on. SpaceX could literally launch within minutes of receiving a launch license from the FAA. Every indication from the company and FAA, i.e. road closures, flight restrictions, indicate the planning moving toward a Monday morning launch attempt. Whether this all comes together, who knows? But behind the scenes, everyone's working toward that and expect it. SpaceX will conduct technical readiness meetings this weekend to ensure they're ready to proceed. So a few snags remain possible, but this is probably happening. So SpaceX, uh, the 1.15 p.m. thing, watch out because it's possible that it's happening all day long, according to Eric Berger. Could be in the morning. They could have a, a, full, um, a full day ready for this to go. So... Monday, at some point, keep your YouTube tuned to SpaceX's um, channel because it's going to be happening and they will be announcing it. They usually go live, like I said before, about 45 minutes before the launch. And this is going to be an exciting one. So this is going to be the most exciting rocket launch I think I will ever see because it's going to open up so many doors for future space flight and humanity as a whole. I mean, if this heavy launch vehicle um, is successful. The, the, the stuff we could put into space is limitless. It's huge. It's huge. Plus you're going to be sending people back to the moon with this thing. It's absolutely, it's, it's like incredible. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's about it. I just want to keep you up to date with what's going on here. Uh, that's, that's it. Take care everybody. And I will see you in the next one. I'll be around on the weekend too. So, Stay tuned here too. subscribe and like and hit the bell and stuff that always helps. So thanks. Uh, I'm going to hit that stop recording button. Oh, yeah, there's some uh, probably some videos over there that you can watch. Uh, I do that at the end because it's cool. Bye.